Hello everyone, good morning. Today in our physical chemistry class we are going to talk on the thermodynamic. So here we go. Thermodynamic. From the word thermo. From the word thermo. Thermo simply refers to heat. While dynamic dynamic refers to changes so when we link to these two words we can simply define thermodynamic as energy transformation thermodynamic simply refers to as energy transformation so before going deep we have to know the terms we use in thermodynamics terms we have three important terms. These are one, system. Two, surrounding. And the three is boundary. Boundary. Let's discuss under these three terms of thermodynamics. Firstly, let's assume this is a cylinder. This is a cylinder. You are preparing tea or copy. Let's say copy. Copy. System. A system is anything that, uh, that an experiment can be conducted on it. This copy you are preparing is what we call the system. Then surrounding. Surrounding is anywhere that is outside the system. That is here. Surrounding. Anywhere outside the system that is not inside the system is what we refer to as surrounding. Then boundary. Boundary is anything that differentiates between surrounding and the system. That is the wall of the container or the cylinder or the membrane of the cylinder. That is here. Or here. This is what we call as boundary. It's what differentiate between surrounding and the system. So this is simply the term, this is simply what refers to the term. There are three system, surrounding, and boundary. Inside the container where we are preparing copy is what we call the system. And outside is what we call the surrounding. The things that differentiate between the surrounding and the system is what we call the boundary. So, so now let's go directly into thermodynamic changes or process. Thermodynamic changes or processes. We have different thermodynamics changes and processes. The first one is isothermal. Second is adiabatic. And nine, we have irreversible. Change or process. So, let's discuss these nine categories of thermodynamics changes or process. Number one is isothermal. When we say isothermal, this simply refers to any changes or process at constant temperature. That is, change in temperature is equal to zero. Number one, isothermal. Any process or changes at constant temperature, that means the T or change in temperature is equal to zero. Adiabatic is any process or change at constant heat supply. That is delta Q is equal to zero or change in Q is equal to zero. Isobaric, any change or process at constant pressure. Dp is equal to zero. Then isocaric, any change at constant volume. That means dV is equal to zero. Then cyclic process. This cyclic process is any change or process at constant energy 
that is change in energy is equal to zero. Then measurable. Measurable, the quantity is larger enough to be quantified. Any quantity that is larger enough to be quantified, we can quantify it, we can measure it, is IE, DQ, DP, and DV, ETC. Then infinitesimal change is any change or process that the quantity is very negligible. We cannot quantify it. It is very negligible. That is delta Q, delta P, and delta uh, V. We use small letter D to represent these infinitesimal changes. Then we have reversible process or changes, any process that can be reversed and irreversible, any process or changes that cannot be reversed. Three types of system. We have number one, open system. Open system is a system that allows heat, energy, and matter to transfer in and out of the system. While closed system is a system that allows only heat, energy, can transfer in of the system. For example, when you take a flask, you put a tea or coffee inside the flask, it will regain the heat inside the, uh, the matter cannot transfer out of the system. Isolated system, neither heat, energy, no matter can transfer in and out of the system. This is just an assumption for the isolated system. Then we go for the fast function and state function. For pass function, pass function depends on the pass follows by the matter. The pass that the matter follows to become what it is. Then state function, this depends on the present state of the matter. The present state of the matter is what we call the state function. Let's move to PB work. PB work is nothing but work done of compression and expansion. Before going in, one must know the conversion, the of, conversion of factors, these factors. One joule is equivalent to 0 0.239 cal, and one ATM is equivalent to 1.013 bar which is equal to 101325 Pascal and equivalent to 760 millimeter mercury. And one ATM liter is still equivalent to 101.325 Joule. One may be asked to leave his answer in one form of these conversions after calculating the problem or solving the problem. So, PB work. We said it's a work of compression and expansion. When Px, that is the pressure, the external pressure is greater than the internal pressure, we refer it to as compression. I.e., let's say this is a cylinder, this is like the closed part of the cylinder, and this is what the system inside the cylinder. So when P external, pressure of external is greater or is greater than P internal, pressure of internal, the lead will definitely go inside the cylinder. It will push the gases inside the cylinder or the system inside the cylinder down. And for expansion, when P in, P internal, the pressure of internal is greater than the pressure of external, then we have expansion. Pressure of internal is greater than pressure of external, it push out the lid, that is expansion. So, now for the dry patient of PB work, suppose that work is equal to force times distance. We have work will be equal to force times, force times distance. The multiplication of force and distance gives FL. So, we know pressure is equal to force all over area. By making F subject of the formula, we cross multiply. Now, force will be equal to pressure times area. That is, when we substitute this pressure times area for the force inside the first equation, let's level this one as the first equation, this second equation. So, substitute equation 2 in 1. By substituting equation 2 in 1, work will now be equal to PA times L. And we all know that, this is equation 3, we all know that area times distance is equal to volume. So this equation 
4. Now, by substituting equation 4 into equation 3, work will be equal to PV. Work will be equal to pressure times volume. That is what we call infinitesimal change, or that is what we call, yes, infinitesimal change. So, for infinitesimal change, dW will be equal to P dB. D, sorry, D. The W will be equal to P dB, yes, P dB, P dB. This dB is nothing but B final minus V initial. This is for measurable change, measurable change. The V is equal to V final minus V initial. So that is what we call work done by the system and work done to the system. When a system performed a work, work done by the system. When a system perform a work, then W will be equal to minus PX dV. And when the work is done to the system, W will be equal to phi x dB. When work is done by the system, we assign negative sign. And when work is done to the system, from surrounding to the system, then we assign positive Px. These formulas are the two formulas that we are going to be using when calculating, when having or solving problems on under PB work. So in our next video, we will see more examples or more calculations and problems to be solved under PB work. So thank you very much for watching the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll be really glad and appreciate it. And then if there is any question to be asked, please leave it in the comment section. Thank you very much. Thank you.